Hello everyone, and uh, yeah, welcome to Act 5. Oh, Act 6, sorry. Yeah, I keep doing that wrong, don't I? Alright, so I have made a few upgrades here and there to make sure that we can actually survive um, the upcoming acts. So I got myself a bit of leveling gear. It's mostly cheap gear you can get for less than an alchemy. And it's items that you somewhat should be able to buy when you're leveling with the currency you have managed to obtain throughout the 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 previous acts. Um, I did change one of our auras to uh, Purity of Elements. It is just such a nice all-arounder and it is so much easier to manage to get your resistance is sorted plus it gives you immune to all elemental ailments set up so you know you don't have to worry about opening those strong boxes so yeah but overall just that's the only thing i've changed i've changed uh i i did however change uh, the concoction link with poison uh, we, we are using unbound ailments instead of uh, lesser multiple projections now uh, yeah, I did manage to get a mark, sub mark of sub submission. It is super cheap at the moment, and it's just works so well with our uh, curse gem. So it literally hexes them, so you don't have to, to do that yourself, which is, you know, quality of life. But yeah, we're going to continue um, continue the act now. So what I would recommend is, is, is do the Lily Roth quest if you haven't done it, um, because it will open up all skill gems to you so you could just literally uh, buy any skill gem you want even uh, skill gems that is uh, restricted to you. so it's it's a it's a massive um, a boon for you just keep an eye on what way I need to go we need to go there go. yeah it's it's a very easy quest very easily done uh, it's basically just clear out it's basically clearing out all the, the mobs in, in an area. I also finally managed to get a life tap for our shield charge, so... Yeah. Just prefer it, because, you know... Don't want to walk around spending all my mana on that. It's an angry thing, isn't it? But as you can see, I'm cursing automatically now after I use the mag of submission. It's, it's again, it's, it's a quality of life thing. It's not, it's, it's not necessary. It's just very nice to have. As you can see, we are also having our resistances maxed out now. So that's very, very nice. Yeah, I mainly bought gear with uh, life and resistances on it. the rest. Three, two more. Oh, don't waste the stragglers. There they are. Perfect. Quest done. So when you hand in the quest to Lily, it gives you a book of regrets, and then you can buy all the skill gem. 
is super useful. But again, you can you can also do the Act Four um, library quest as well. But that basically does the same. All right, so yeah, we're basically back to Act One, aren't we? Looks a bit different. Gonna be killing some different creatures and stuff. So good. But yeah, we are mostly gonna try and see if we can't get through the axe rather quick now. Usually when you get to this point in, in the axe, your build should pretty much be online and you should be having a decent time hearing things. Like most league starters work that way. But yeah, in this area I'm usually just see if I can get to the right side as fast as possible because the quest mob we need to kill is usually over there. Like a hot. Yeah, here we are. It's a unique mob here. Once she dies, pick up the quest item. Which also gives a, uh, a skill point quest. You don't have to talk to Nesta, she's just there. Doom and glooming. There we go. Into Karai Fort. Right. Up here we will have our first encounter with a minibus of this axe. That will also give us a skill point. Will also be the first pantheon. Getting. And down he goes. The soil wants for your blood no more. I am Frank. Okay, we want this one over here, but we'll get that a bit later. Oh my god, we're pretty much getting blood. Should really get myself a bleed pot. A bleed, Im a bleed immunity pot. This is one of my favorite acts. I just like how it looks and how it feels.
Okay, here we go. The lower prison. And guess what? In here is another trial that we need to pick up. Yeah, there it is. So just remember to pick up the trial before you continue onwards. Since I have already done them, I'm not going to do it. But yeah, Bro, run in and run through the, the gauntlet and you should be alright. I have run the completely wrong way. It's alright. We are up to Chaperon's Tower. This is the last floor before the bus. Skill points here. Uh, let me see. Well, I picked the right ones. Right, last time. She can hurt quite badly if you don't watch out. And especially if your lightning resistance is below um, max. Her damage is really tough. And the same with this fella. He's so mad. All right, there we go. Perfect. Onwards we go.
So here in the prisoner's gate, there is a little side area that is very important that you find. Because there is another little boss area in there, uh, which is um, another skill point quest. So we will just locate that before we head in. I think I actually found it there. It's, usually you would just follow the road and you would go to the next area. But yeah, there we go. This fella, if you don't have fire resistance, please do watch out because he hurts like a truck when he starts going crazy. There we go. Next area, I, I don't really care about those. Usually don't kill them. Not if I don't need flask chat. Perfect. Onwards. Don't need his pantheon, so we'll just continue. As you can see, like, having shield charge you can get from A to B very, very, very quickly. Super nice. And then use dash to, like, get over edges and stuff. But yeah, we're onwards to the next area. So now we are literally in Act 2, actually. Ran through that entrance we opened back in Act 2. Got waypoint. Onwards to nest area. Here, as soon as we find the waypoint, uh, if you remember back in Act 2, you can go left and you will go into another area. We will literally be doing the same here. Because in that area is another skill quest and another minibus, which we will be taking care of. So as you can see, it's always on this left side over here. And the entrance will be, yeah, basically west of the waypoint. Another bus. Can't remember if this is the Pantheon we need. I'm gonna have to take a look. We killed it. Huh, <laughs> it got ghosted. Interesting. Another skill quest done. Release this land to the will of its true children. And it is. So yeah, we want this life flask in three charges every three seconds if you haven't used a life flask recently. This will help a lot with maintaining um, our life flasks when using a poisonous concoction. Yeah, let's just grab ourselves a skill point. Couple, I think. Can't see why I'd want to do that here. Nest, you've killed. 
There we go. With the road to oh, the what was that? Damn God. And another one. Farewell. Right. So that's three easy skill points there. Well, an extra projectile. Then we're going to move into class charges gained. All right. Off we go. So once you get to this point on the map, you just want to head south, southeast. And the entrance will be down there. In this area, we will be heading towards the west side, I believe, and head and see if we can't find a bridge crossing. Usually indicates uh, the road to the next area. So you want to kind of like follow this line up here. So you until you find this crossing, and that usually indicates the right way. And you just follow it around to our next crossing. Like this is a typical indication that you're on the right way. And once you head south here, you should find the entrance to the next area. Remember the black flag, we'll need that for later. Two skill points. Huh? Entrance, very nice. into a dead end. I then you picked up a weapon, so I couldn't use my poison concoction. Yeah, watch out! Why do that? Don't do that. Yeah, it's uh, gonna cause some issues. I tend to forget that every single episode. Sorry about that. 
just do that. There we go. Alright. Let's get into these. Very exciting part of the, the campaign for sure. Love is Scott Quest, don't we? There we go, perfect. Put in the black flag. Come on, you. Yes, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Hello. Let's sail. Right, so here we just, this is the last area before the act bus. So we just want to find the entrance to his area. Don't feel like doing delirium at the moment. What I usually do here is I like try to follow an edge and sometimes I'm lucky and I find the entrance to the arena instantaneously. Other times I have to basically run around the whole thing. But yeah. It's usually not so bad. Oh, maybe it is. Oh. So that's two skill points. Wanna go in here? Get some poison chance on here. Looks like I'm unlucky today. Thank the fire flask. Okay, I am used. Where in the world is that entrance? Ah, it's done. How did I miss that? <laughs> there we go. Um, time for an act boss. So courageous. Such a fine example of womanhood. I simply knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Or my husband. You see, his majesty could never be satiated on his wedding day by one bride alone. Thank you, my new sister. I shall always treasure your company.
The bus is fairly simple, as long as you keep your distance, you can't really do much to... Especially when he has that wall around him. The arena keeps getting smaller, but it's usually not too much of an issue if your DPS is not awful. think that's it. There we go. Perfect. And we will get our first major pantheon. Born of ocean's mire, and death washed clean of dust. And thus there we go. Hold, Hold on to your cuckoo. And that's the end of Act 6. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions or anything at all you want to ask, just please go ahead, write in the comments or send me a message. But yeah, that's it for me. Thank you. Bye.